Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you that are new. My name is Iman. So today is a very exciting video. I get to talk about some products that I recently just got sent, which is just crazy, which is very new to me. Just getting like products sent to me is exciting and I'm happy and I love it. And I just want to be the first one give myself a little pat on the back okay that being said brow code reached out to me and they and they wanted to send me a couple other products so that i could go ahead and give them a try and leave you guys a little review so that's exactly what we're doing today let me just go ahead and start off by saying they did not pay me this is not an ad they are not sponsoring me they just sent me products and wanted me to give an honest review and that's exactly what today is so i got these products a about a month ago and I've been using it the entire month so that I could genuinely try the product and know like try it with different primers and different foundations and different concealers and and all of that stuff and just combine it with a bunch of different things and see if I genuinely like the product and how good it is so that I could come back and let you guys know so that's exactly what I did which I couldn't be more grateful to them and reaching out to me. I mean, I'm a tiny little fish in a huge pond. So the fact that they reached out to me is just amazing. I'm so grateful to them. Let alone be such a good brand, I was shook. And Brow Code is an Australian-based company. So in a few minutes, I'll show you guys exactly what I did to achieve these super snatched, fleeky brows. So they sent me a couple products. The first one being the Cremades, which is basically like a pomade. This is what I use today on my brows and this is what I'll be doing the tutorial on. But I freaking love it. They sent me the shade Soft Brown, which initially I thought was going to be too light because I do usually go in with like a medium brown or like a medium dark brown. But the Soft Brown worked really really well i didn't put any powder this is literally just cremate on my brows right now i didn't do anything else so they sent me that they also sent me the define in line 18 karat gold dual brow brush which first of all the packaging is so cute you just like pull it out it's double ended so this is the pointed uh, side that you actually put the product on and then the spoolie side which I like both there's some spoolies that don't do what they're supposed to but this spoolie is actually really really good they also sent me their brow pencil which is imitations micro brow pencil it's dual sided so this is the pencil side and then the spoolie side and I really like the spoolie as well it blends everything really really well and I like the consistency of the pencil. It isn't too waxy and it's not too creamy, if that makes sense. Like it's the perfect balance. I actually really do like this brow pencil and that's saying a lot because I am a die hard brow whiz fan. I've been using it for so many years and I literally use it all the time. But like I said, all month long I've been using these products and I really genuinely like them. So that should speak volumes to this brand and their products. And the next thing that they sent me is the Indus Valley Brow Gold Stimulating Brow Growth Oil. I mean, I don't know if this is like the little size. It's five milliliters. This is it out of the packaging. It's again, really, really hard to see because it's like super gold packaging. But this is, I apply this every morning and night after doing my skin care routine and honestly I can't really give you a review on this just yet just because I've only been using it for a month and with products like this I like to give it at least three months so that I could get like a really good evaluation of the product and actually see if it really does a difference because it's a pretty big promise so I like to give it at least three months before I can say if I like it if it works and so on and so forth so that being said I don't have a review on this yet I will be back to update you guys on how I like this make sure you follow me on my Instagram because I will mention it on my Instagram for sure I'm always giving updates on products that I'm trying on my Instagram so make sure you follow me but that being said uh yeah I can't really talk about this because I haven't I haven't really used it long enough but it smells really good all of brow codes products are cruelty free majority of the products are vegan as well for those of you that are vegans so that's also really really nice to know but anyways let's just go ahead and get started with the tutorial so today I'm gonna be using the cremades that they sent me and we'll be using that with the brush that they sent me as well which is the 18 karat gold dual brow brush and it's actually so cute so we'll be using this i have nothing on my brows right now these are them very 
very bare. I'm just gonna go ahead and tie my hair up really quick. You guys know the drill if you're not new here. Can't do makeup with my hair down. So they sent me the shade Soft Brown, which typically I'm more of like a medium brown, but this actually looks pretty deep and I think I can get away with it. So let's just go ahead and jump in. And honestly, when I first got this brush and started using it, I was like, whoa, I didn't realize that it was angled. I thought it was just like a rounded brush. I was like, how is this possibly gonna work? But I quickly realized it is angled and it actually made it really easy. I feel like I do my brows much quicker when I use this pomade and this brush because I kind of like I don't do like the individual strokes. I kind of just fill in the whole brow and then I clean it up with some concealer. So usually I do my face makeup first, but lately I have been liking doing my eye makeup first. So I'll do my eyebrows and then do my eyeshadow or sometimes I'll even do my eyeshadow and then do my brows. But lately I've just been liking to do my eye makeup first. So that's what we're starting with today. And I've been using this. This cream made this past month and I really really like it I think it's made I need to like clip these little baby hairs it's definitely cut down on uh, my like getting ready time usually when I use the brow wiz like I do like individual strokes and that just takes a lot of time but with this I can kind of just literally like fill it in and it looks so good so smooth and it just looks like very fluffy and full I'm gonna go ahead and get started so I always like to comb my little brows upward make sure they're all facing the same direction and then i always start from the bottom let me see if i need to zoom in so i always like to start underneath typically at the front and really just draw my outline of my brow and this really makes it just easier to fill in the rest of your brow wow i really just jacked that up <laughs> i like totally just missed my eyebrow <laughs> so for me it's just always easier to start at the bottom and kind of just make an outline of my brow and then fill it in from there. I find that that's just the easiest. It's kind of like coloring where you make your outline and then you just fill it in, you know? And then I'll kind of just start going up a little bit and blending that product upwards to kind of fill in any missing areas and then just work my way back and I'm not applying too much pressure at all. And then I'll just go in with a spoolie and brush everything out and up. Just blending everything in. Now I'll start to go at the top. Now that I've gotten majority of the product off my brush, I'm gonna start drawing my outline at the top of my brow. And it's okay if you like get a little messy or your lines aren't completely straight because like I said, we are going to clean this up with concealer. So if you get a little outside the lines, it's okay. I mean, obviously do your best to stay within the lines, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. And the more you use your spoolie, the more everything blends. So if you went in too harsh or you use too much product, using your spoolie is what's gonna fix the situation. It's gonna blend everything. It's gonna make it not look so harsh. So now that I have that outline, now I'm just gonna go in and actually start filling in the brow. And then right at the front, I just wanna do like a little spiky situation. So there you can see it is obviously very dramatic and very dark right now, but that is because I have absolutely no makeup on my face and I have one eyebrow, so it's just gonna look a little crazy, but you can already just see like how much of a difference that makes and how beautifully blended it looks. I love it. And as you can see, like the soft brown, like actually kind of worked really, really well. I'm gonna save this brow till once I'm done with this brow so that you guys can have like a nice little side-by-side -side comparison of the difference brows really make. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. I'm just using any concealer. This just happens to be the NARS matte, or excuse me, the NARS soft matte concealer. Uh, this is usually what I use when I clean up my brows and I'm in the shade Madeline. So let me just grab a clean little brush. And then again, I start from the bottom. 
And what's nice about this is it actually works as a concealer. No, as a concealer. It works as a primer too, so. Now my eyelids will be primed for whatever eye look we end up doing today. And then just blend it. So many baby hairs right now because I'm taking like this hair growing supplements that my hair is growing, which is a good problem to have, but it's still, it's annoying. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the top and I might be out of the frame with this one because my hand's gonna be covering most of it. It's okay if you make a mistake like I just did. Everything is fixable. And then clean up the front half. I kind of like blend my concealer into the very front. Just so it gives me that like ombre, super blended like inner brow. If that made any sense so it's, it's kind of start to look like that so there we go now you have the nice clean scalp sculpted <laughs> sculpted brow and you can totally see the difference of these brows and the difference that brows in general make and like I said even though this brow is really bold right now because there's nothing else going on it just looks super bold but it's gonna blend perfectly with everything once it's all done you'll see but i mean just look at that brow look at how beautiful it honestly just looks like a nice like faded <sighs> it just looks very snatched and just like mm. so i'm gonna go ahead and do everything i just did to this brow to this brow and i'll be back all right so i have both brows on now and i look a little bit better but still looking a little bit crazy so that being said i mean just look at how beautiful smooth blended fluffy they look they're just like hello i'm here you better recognize that's just the vibes i'm getting but anyways but now that my brows are on i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera and then i'll just come back to do just a little bit of touch-ups usually if i do my brows first after i do all of my makeup i usually always have to go back touch up my brows after i did the rest of my makeup because sometimes like i like you know mess something up a little bit all right so i went ahead and did the rest of my makeup off I was gonna say on camera I did it off camera so normally at this point I would go back in with a brow pencil go over anything that I might have you know messed up along the way of doing the rest of my makeup but I'm telling you guys this cremade like it literally set itself like I did a ton of creams I mean look at my like I did a full face of makeup I'm actually not even wearing any eyeshadow right now but usually when I do do eyeshadow I kind of like mess up something along the line on my brows but i surprisingly didn't today so i don't need to touch it up but normally i would i'd use the brow code in imitations brow pencil and this is in the shade this is in the shade brunette again love the gold packaging their packaging is super cute and very on brand for me uh, and this is the micro brow pencil so like i said this is what i would normally go in and i actually do kind of see one spot that i would like to fix just a little bit that's just because i'm being super extra and annoying but literally other than that it's perfect i really like this brow pencil too i usually go with a brow pencil but i wanted more of like a sculpted like snatched brow today because i knew i was gonna like keep it really neutral and easy and light on the face because my skin's doing pretty good right now so i want to try and not wear so many products really really like their brow pencil too and of course it comes with a spoolie side as well you need a spoolie when you're doing your brows you guys like 
you need it okay it's a must so like I said normal circumstances this is when I would go in with this brow pencil when I'm using the cream aids but there's days where I'll just use the brow pencil by itself and not the cream aid so it really just depends but I do really really like this and since I'm not using that I'm just gonna go ahead and set my brows really quick and I'm just using Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel just to make sure these puppies stay in place And there we are it. I am all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up. You know it really does help me out. Thank you guys so much for watching yet another video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever used brow code, what you think, what your favorite product is. I always love hearing from you guys and your feedback on different products. I could just, like talking to you guys and talking about products are literally my two favorite things. So let me know. Let's talk. Let's conversate. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate you guys. I, you have no idea. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.